Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. To the Middle East first and heavy fighting is continuing in northern Gaza with witnesses claiming Israeli forces are closing in on several hospitals. Israel claims Hamas is using tunnels underneath Al Shifa, the region's largest hospital, a claim it denies. Several hospitals have stopped functioning with fuel running out, prompting calls for patients to be moved to Egypt. But International Red Cross spokesperson Tommaso Della Longa says that's not practical. There could be no evacuation question without a safe humanitarian space to do that. Evacuation from hospital as well as evacuation of civilians as well as any work that can be done in Gaza in terms of humanitarian aid. The problem is way more complicated. Optus has revealed the cause of its major network outage that left more than 10 million customers without phone or internet services. The telco blaming a routine software update that went wrong. It's offered free data to all those affected. Former British Prime Minister David Cameron has made a shock return to high office. He's become the foreign minister as part of a shake-up of Rishi Sunak's Conservative government. He says he is delighted. Well, I know it's not usual for a Prime Minister to come back in this way, but I believe in public service. The Prime Minister asked me to do this job, and it's a time where we have some daunting challenges as a country. It follows the sacking of Suella Braverman following her comments about police being too lenient on pro-Palestinian protesters. And relief for a small town near Rome with an escaped lion recaptured. Kimber the lion escaped from a travelling circus and was on the loose for seven hours, terrifying locals in Ladispoli. An investigation is underway to determine how the big cat got out. Sport and entertainment is up next. Matilda Carmichael has starred for the Sydney Sixers in the side's win over the Hobart Hurricanes in the Women's Big Bash. The side needing 30 from the last 18 balls, the match going down to the very last delivery. It is the Sixers' fourth straight win. Still on cricket and the Aussie men are preparing for their semi-final against South Africa at the One Day World Cup later this week. The Proteus haven't made a World Cup final, but Aussie quick Mitch Stark says they're not paying too much attention to that. You can always read into these things as much as you like. For us, it's, it's certainly talking and thinking about what we can do the right way or or how we can approach it or our our mindset to it rather than than what they're going to do so much. In entertainment news, a new role for Denzel Washington. He is set to play ancient warrior Hannibal in a new Netflix movie. And Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and fiancé Lauren Sanchez have posed for a Western-themed spread in Vogue magazine. The couple also holding a star-studded engagement party with Kim Kardashian, Oprah and Leonardo DiCaprio making the guest list. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.